Gorgoroth rhythms. So it's all about playing in threes and getting good at playing in threes. Um, the main focus of today is getting tight in, well, three fours or three eights or six eights, or however you want to count it, time signatures, just and making them really strong. And the other focus of today's lesson is getting good with this rhythm. What I call the Goroth chugs. So I'm in D standard, like the previous video, the Mogwa video. So refer to that if you want to know all the D standard notes and the tuning and all that kind of stuff. But I don't want to go through it today because I've done it before. So we're going to go through exit through carved stones for a warm up. Okay, nice and simple riff. So it starts off with a normal power chord, 0 2 2, with this rhythm. And notice how I'm accenting every one. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Accenting is playing the note slightly harder than the others giving it some emph emphasis. And then the next chord is an inverted power chord, 3-3-5-5. Three, 3-3-5-5. Three, five, five. Three, three, five, five. Two groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you take that same chord shape and move it three frets up. Still two groups of three. That's pretty straightforward. I don't think that one needs too much time or effort or practice. Now the next thing is a little bit more tricky. The Kogoroth chug. Dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun dun da da dun. Now if that sounds familiar, it's because it's in almost every single core of song. So for example, here's Incipit Satan. Teeth grinding. Carving a giant. And a wall to win. Is a bitch. So it's that bit. So I'm going to use one riff as an example. The simplest one to pick up and get used to it, and that's the chorus, the Incipit Satan part of Incipit Satan. Now, ignore every other YouTube cover and tutorial um, because they're wrong. This is how Infernus plays it. I 
spent like 25 minutes yesterday to figure out exactly what he's doing in this riff and this is what he's doing. So he's doing that, he's using the Gorgoroth rhythm on the E power chord, but in this case it's a D because we're in D standard, so that's 0, 2, 2 again with a palm mute. Then you do that three times. After that is one of five, five, seven, seven, that big inverted power chord. One, two, three. On the fourth bar of that riff, you've got the fifth fret here. A D, but in this case C. Now the second part of the riff follows the same rhythm and chord change position as the first half, but we're just using different chords. So it's a diatonic, it's a dyad basically, it's not diatonic, actually it might be, but still it's a dyad, 3 on low E, 2, for, two on A, so like the G chord, but just the bottom two strings, with the same rhythm, going to this inverted power chord again, so 2, 2, 4, 4, like the previous part of the riff. Yeah, so that's the Gorgoroth rhythm. Hmm, <laughs> not that one. And it helps with lower tuning, so these fat, chuggy riffs. So that's the Gorgoroth rhythm. Another nice quick video dissecting and exposing some of your favorite bands.